They're the smallest penguins in the world and are increasingly under threat. Human activity, climate change and habitat loss are contributing to their declining population. In Tasmania, dogs are the biggest killers. You know, roughly 80% of the mortalities that were recorded over that period from the 1980s to around 2022 were coming from dog attacks. A new CSIRO-led study found just one dog attack every five years could wipe out a small penguin colony within 15 years. They can't withstand um, sort of this extra pressure um, when dog attacks are, you know, can, can in some cases take tens, uh, more than tens of birds sort of in one attack. Even large colonies are at risk from dog attacks. If attacks come too often, at too high an intensity, you can, within you know, 15, 20 years, you'll start seeing quite significant declines. Dogs killed 887 penguins in the four decades to 2020. While roaming or feral dogs were behind some of them, pet dogs actually killed the large majority that had either escaped or were off leash with their owner. There's no reason why any dog attack on a penguin should ever occur. Dog owners need to take responsibility for their pets and we need to make sure that the penguins are protected when they come ashore to breed. Nesting boxes have played a critical role in preventing deaths linked to dog attacks. In colonies where dogs have attacked those penguin colonies, we've put in those nest boxes to give the colony the maximum chance to recover the population. In 2019, the state government introduced tougher penalties for dog owners whose pets kill sensitive wildlife like penguins. It's now hoped this research will highlight the importance of protecting